Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, including wormholes or portals. No, actually, we are in No Man's Sky one more time before the next update because there's a lot of changes that are going to be happening. So I thought I would use this opportunity to document um the planets that i've come across and that i've seen um before the next update uh goes into place because like the planets and everything are supposed to change and biomes be rebuilt and all this other stuff so let's go ahead and Let's take a look at a few things here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go. Okay, so one of my original. I'm trying to think of where the original station was that I started off at. I think this is it. Osu Osukaya station, we'll see. Yes. Okay, this is the first system. I called it the Genesis system. Whoops. So this is the system that I started off in. And I've, although I've gone quite a ways around the galaxy, I wanted to keep tabs on this very first uh, galaxy that I've been in. Okay, so there's my ship right over there. Yeah, when I start the next, I'm going to be starting all over from scratch. I'm going to miss my ship. This is such a cool ship. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, look at all look at all this space. I like saved up for this thing too. Uh let's see. Pulse engine. Our hyperdrive is almost empty, so we need some warp cells, that's for sure. Let's see, do we have what we need to make warp cells, I wonder? We need electron vapor. How do we get electron vapor? I forget. There it is. Do I have any more here? No, I don't have enough. No. Okay, we got antimatter. I have plenty of antimatter. Warp cells. I need. Ow, oh, I need thamium. That's what I need. All right. Well, let's go get some. I know. I know just where to get some. Okay, that's not the liftoff button.
Man, they are all over the place. All right, so Planet Riker. This is where I had first put my base. But this isn't the planet that I first started off at. Well, let's go ahead and... Head to the planet. Got about 36 seconds. I'm shooting just because. I think, no, that's, uh, wait a minute, no, that's plutonium. See, a lot of the minerals and stuff are supposed to change, too. All right, let me see here. I've got stuff marked. I try to use color codes for it. Let me see. Uh, that's off planet. I thought I used. Can't seem to find it. It's up on my map there on the top. There's a purple star. You see that? That's where I have a portal. Or basically a Stargate. I marked it on my map and that will allow me to show you some of the other planets that I've uh, come across. Huh. Now these little things here, as far as the, the little white things there, that's where my first base used to be. Okay, so we must be on the other side of the planet or something. Let's set up in the space and then come back around. Oh, by the way, this this binary sun here, that's a mod. That's not in the game. At least not yet. Hold on. There? Where's that portal at? I see it. Woo, there it is. Oh, that's on the other planet. That's a ruin. It's ruined!
Yeah, bases are changing in the game too. Um, currently with the Atlas Rises, you had to build your base off of a certain spot. But with this new update, you can build them anywhere and you can build more than one. Which is totally cool. I think... Okay, no, that's not it. We're just kind of skimming the surface here. Ah, about two minutes left. So we can find a quicker way over there. And I do have some mods in my game, and I will have to deactivate those when the update comes out. But I have a few visual mods, like with the space. Um, you saw that there was a, a crescent uh, moon. I think that's actually the name of the mod, like crescent moons or something. We're getting closer. Now it's funny as I try playing this game without that little the tethering. So that's where I, I go this way and I like tethers me up or tethers me down it just doesn't just doesn't feel right aha there it is that's right I used the color B f for base or color B blue so the first letter of base is B, and the first letter of color is B for blue. Okay, so you see that right there? This is where my base used to be. And so whenever you build a base, you had to find these existing ones, and then build off of that. And with this next update, um, from what I understand, you will not have to do that. You can build them anywhere. See, and there's my uh, Exocraft. Now, let's see if we can find our portal. We gotta find the purple one on my map, because it's somewhere around here. See, I cataloged all of these creatures. Just, just take a closer look here. And these creatures are all procedurally generated. So it uses body parts of several different creatures and randomly puts them together. So you really see some alien-like uh, creatures. Yeah. Okay, do you see how that planet, do you see how there's a, a crescent shape there? That's part of a mod that I have. Which I think looks super spectacular like that. I can't find my portal! It's over here somewhere.
We'll head to the other side of the planet. It's probably there. It's funny, um, when I was younger, I always wondered if, if you wanted to get to the other side of a planet quickly, could you just go up into space, you know, just go up into space and then quickly go around, and the answer is yes, you can. And I think it was Elon Musk with his little, uh, like, shuttle service, I think it is, that he's trying to create where it would take people from one side of the planet to the other. That's, that's how it would work. I think it was, I think it was him. Oh! Where to go? Where where's my where's my purple? It's like I'm not seeing it. It's like where is it? See, it's in front of me somewhere. I'll be darned if I can find it, though. Where is my portal at? Okay, there's the green. I'm looking at the radar. The blue was the base. So now the music is uh, procedurally generated also. So it's always different. Where are you? Now see, it's saying that I just passed it. Am I sitting right over it? Where is it? Wait a minute, what's that down there? I think I may have found the uh, Stargate. Yep, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and save my game right here. Since we're on the ground here, just kind of show you around a little bit. Yeah, so this is the first planet that I built my base on, is here. 
And no doubt this is all going to change. And all the, like plutonium, apparently the plutonium's not going to be around anymore. That's all changed into something else. I'm looking for something that says TH. There it is. Let's go over there and grab that. Yeah, it's right down there. This is what we need for our hyperdrive is some of this stuff. Okay. Animal behaviors are supposed to change, too. Like, they'll be in packs and stuff like that. Oh, there's some more over here. Now, green... I think I've used uh, green for trading outposts. See, look at those creatures. That should give us what we need, I think. We'll try to run our way back up here to the Stargate. I like calling it a Stargate. You'll see why. I think I still have that thing activated. Like, I have it linked to somewhere. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate it here. Okay, so I've been writing down glyphs of... Uh, planets that I visited. So let's see. It is the bird, I believe, right here. This will give you some addresses that you can check out on your own game, at least. There's a face. And where is it? There it is. And one more. I call this the YMCA uh, logo. <laughs> That's why I call it a Stargate. <laughs> And 
this should be Earth 2 that we're going to. The Maxidine System System. Yep, so we're on Earth 2. This is one of the planets that I found. Give me a second, I'm going to turn down the sound a little bit here. Let's see if that's a little bit better, because it was kind of loud. But, let's see, do I have my... No, I don't. I thought I might have had my exocraft. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I do have something over there. Now, one thing that's kind of a bummer, and I don't know if this has been changed with Next or not, is that when you activate a portal, once you're on the other side, you can't summon your ship. You can't do nothing. Um, you can't even build a ship. You can't do... I mean, th these portals were mainly to get... Uh, like friends together from one side so uh, for like from one galaxy side of the galaxy to another so they can play together but you'd only be able to play on on the planet's surface um, I would like it to where you know it worked just like Stargate you go through it turns off and then you can activate the gate from the other side and and uh, and go back but see this you see that this thing does not come up that means that's because it's locked and you definitely don't want that to shut off because then you won't be able to get back to your ship that would be a, a glitch I thought I saw something that I needed but let's go over here and let's let's just take a look at um, at stuff here. There's an interesting creature right there. Yeah, so this is Earth 2. I named this place Earth 2. We'll kind of, uh, Lizzie on around here. Hey there, fella. But pretty cool, huh? Let's see, there's some stuff over there. Probably sell some stuff. Oh, that's what I saw. I saw these red things and I thought it was something that I needed. Eh, we'll just come down here. Warp cell. That's good. Let's see. We need to recharge our suit. Oh, I don't want to use that. All right, so we're gonna head back to where we were. Whoa, where am I going here? Well, 
Oh, that's an interesting bug. <laughs> what is that on my screen? There it goes. It disappeared. Let's see if we can try recharging some of our stuff. Where's our ship at? Because we'll need our hyperdrive. Let's see, we got antimatter. What? I still don't have enough thamium. I'll have to go to it. A trading area and do it then, I guess. But wait, there's more! And I don't mean other Ramble videos, but more No Man's Sky pre-next. I certainly didn't end it here. Be sure to subscribe to be notified of the next part, as well as any video uploaded to this channel. We have tons of them all over the place. It's how we like it, and we hope you like it.